Here I'm going to show you how to use the Smart Player to playback video that you've downloaded from your DVR or NVR. On a Windows operating system, you can play back the DAV files or the ASF files using the included Smart Player. When you download off of the DVR or NVR, it'll automatically save an executable file which will appear as an application for a Smart Player. You can double click on Smart Player and then it will basically analyze all the video that's saved along with it and have it appear neatly in a tree. It's reading all the DAV files here. I've got one channel to main that's here that's a DAV and I've got another one here. They happen to be in the same time segment so it selects the one that's the longest one. And then I've got one extra for channel 2. So this is channel uh, camera number 2 and this is the extra stream of that and this is camera number 3 and the extra stream of that. And then it tells you the date and then the time, beginning and end. So if I just click on a quadrant and I click on a stream, it will play that stream back. You can maximize the window by clicking on these icons there. And then if you select another quadrant and then double click a certain channel stream, it will appear there. And using the wheel of the mouse, you can scroll in and view your timeline and allows for asynchronous play. If you notice the timeline here to the left and right, it's not equal. If you would like to do synchronous play in the program that's downloaded with a DVR or NVR, synchronous play does not work. So if you have downloaded and installed Smart Player following our other video mentioned below on this page, then you will have a desktop icon for Smart Player here. If you have that, then all you need to do is just simply double click on a file and it will play it back using the Smart Player installed on your computer. It will also analyze the different contents of the directory and list them here in a tree form. You can maximize it and select another quadrant, select another stream. You can double click on a quadrant to expand the video. And using the wheel cursor of your mouse, you can magnify the timeline you can also magnify using this guide on the left hand side. And this does allow you for synchronous play by simply just clicking this button here for synchronous play. And now as you hop along the timeline, you'll see that the uh, timestamps are actually in sync to the second. You can also digitally zoom in to a certain point in your timeline by either pausing the video or while it's playing. This is the digital zoom icon and you can use that to magnify action as it's happening. You can double click on a channel to view it even in bigger format and right click on it to zoom out. Double click to open up that quadrant and draw a rectangle to zoom in. And then you can right click to zoom out right click one more time. You have to double click the right click to zoom out of that one quadrant. Now you can also use this speed toggle to speed up the playback. As you see here, it speeds up the playback. Depending on the resolution of your uh, video that you've recorded and also the CPU of your computer, you can go up to 64 times playback. There's also audio playback if your cameras have audio and you can toggle that using this. This allows you to, if you're viewing video from a 360 degree or 180 degree camera to use the fisheye view to uh, toggle that. In this case this is just a regular uh, camera so we're just going to have it as a plain rectangle box. This allows you to play back what you just viewed in the loop and this lets you step forward and backwards. So it doesn't allow you to play it back in a synchronous playback. So what we're going to do is press stop. Pause. Bring it back to 1x. You can also drag the window to another point in your timeline. 
you can change how many cameras you're playing back and when you're viewing one camera at a time you can actually use the frame by frame playback and use the timeline here to easily browse through video of interest if you have a certain point in your timeline that you would like to slow playback you can use the speed selector here to slow down the playback speed as well now if there's a certain scene you want to take a snapshot of just hit pause and use this icon here to take a snapshot so instead of providing video you can simply take individual snapshots and save them and then provide them to, to the police to find out where those snapshots are saved click on the gear icon here and you'll see this directory you can copy this take it to Windows Explorer and they would be in here if you were taking any pictures so if for some reason you don't see the pictures in the directory the most likely reason is that Windows is not allowing this program to write in a program directory so what you can do is click on browse and go to your my pictures and choose that as the directory to save the pictures to and you can do that also for the videos and this also lets you take snippets of a video you're playing back and have them save to the directory. I'm going to do the same. Once you've done that, click on X. Now let's see, I'm going to take a picture here and go back to my pictures and here you see the snapshot. So let's say I'm playing back a video and I like to take multiple pictures. They all get saved in here. You can also save a movie of it as long as you're playing in 1x it will let you save a clip of the clip you're watching and if you go back here you'll find it saved here so let's see its details and it saves it as another DAV file now let's say you want to convert this DAV file into an API to provide to the police it's really easy. All you need to do is click on this convert icon. So if you hover over the icon with your mouse, it'll tell you what it does. Click on export file. And I'm going to choose channel 2 extra here. Use my the wheel on my mouse to fine tune what areas of the video, the beginning and end, I want to export. So it lets you kind of select the exact point in the timelines you'd like to export. And then the export format. I want to choose as an AVI format. In Windows you can save as an AVI because Windows supports AVI video formats. And as I change the time you'll see it here, the start time is changing and so does the end time as well. Once you set your format to AVI, hit begin export. It'll ask you where to save it in my case I'm saving it to my pictures and it already did it so I'm gonna go back open up my pictures and here you see the AVI file I'm gonna stop playback and I'm gonna play this back using just Windows Media Player and here you go it's playing the video back using Windows Media Player. It's that easy and you can just give this to the police or you could even upload it to your Google Drive and then share it with the police or even put it on YouTube. Thanks for watching.